For me, this one is the best. It's the first one. I will put it on top of Dacos. <gasps> what? Blasphemy! It's a great idea! <laughs> Nothing compares to... With any of them. <laughs> so we're gonna try now cheese with watermelon and then with honey. Yeah. Man, this is so weird. The best combination is this one right here. In my head, this is blasphemy. I think I will like it. <laughs> Today, we're gonna try different types of Greek feta. We're gonna test a few different brands and see which ones we like. We're gonna make a rating and choose our favorites. You choose first, Let's... whatever you like. Yeah, Epiros. 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 Okay. You're not saying it right. So we're gonna taste them all first to see what we work with and then oh my god yeah we're gonna make a mess i mean of course you're gonna make a mess <laughs> did i ever expect anything <laughs> less from you i'm gonna use a natural fork obviously okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it's not hard it's soft not very soft medium texture a bit sour not that salty very good yeah this one is not that uh, firm so it's as you say, I think it's medium. It's well balanced, it's not too salty. It's and the flavor is quite intense. It's not quite intense. It is medium. I would make a salad with this one. Yeah, I think this one is good for a salad. I don't think this is for frying or anything like that. Obviously, we don't have much experience with feta cheese, as you have, as a mm. Greek. But um, yeah, we're going to share our thoughts. And later, we heard this wild idea to try feta with carpuzzi. With watermelon. watermelon. Yeah, that's wild for me. I didn't try it before because usually I don't like sweet with salty, but we're gonna test it. We're gonna and test also, it. we're gonna test some with, with honey, some honey and classic tomatoes. <laughs> Next, Next one. one. This one is Mevgal. So this one is made of sheep and goat milk. Sheep and goat so milk. So it has both. <laughs> Give me a plate. What plate? No. Oh. <laughs> plate. <laughs> So we're gonna try all of them and then we're gonna rate them at the end so we can make like a ranking. Yeah, to see which one is the best feta cheese yet for us. <laughs> this is very different. It's not that strong, it's not that flavored. Yeah. It's the other one. The flavor is less intense. A bit more crumbly. Less salty. Yeah, more, yeah, a bit more crumbly as well. More sourness, still very good. It's kind of the same uh, texture. texture. Yeah. yeah. I think this one is still for the salad. Maybe all of those are for salad. <laughs> so we chose these brands because you guys recommended them to us. Okay, next one is Calavriton, I think. Calavriton. Calavriton. I think this one is from Sclavenitis. Yeah. <laughs> nice, I'm getting good at this, right? Yeah. What are we gonna do with all this feta after? I don't know, guys, if you have any ideas of what to cook with all of this. Please drop them in the comments if you okay. have any traditional food that you want us to try, maybe. Let's try this one. I can already see this one is softer. And a lot of flavor. Not that sour. This one has more goat flavor. This one is a bit creamier than the other two. Goat and sheep as well. Yeah, the same. It's definitely... Uh, the taste is stronger than in this one. Yeah, it's more flavor. I think this one will go very good sauce on dips. To maybe make, like a sauce with it, like blend it. Yeah, maybe like, like a spread. A, you can use it like as a spread. It has more salt in it. It's saltier than this one, but same like this one maybe. This is my favorite breakfast. I love these videos with food, so guys, please give them a like, a comment. Let's support these ideas, this food test testing. <laughs> <laughs> I can eat this every morning. Okay. Next one. We got this one from Slavenitis as well, but it was from the Fresh Cuts. A lot of people said the best feta is the Fresh Cut, not the packaged ones. So yeah, we're gonna try a Fresh Cut as well today. And this is the famous brand. I think it's Dodoni. Dodoni. Yeah. There you go. Let me give you a plate. Mm, I'm excited to try this one. It's more firm than the last one. Mm, just same like this one, I think. Very good flavor. I would have to try them all together to yeah. give a proper uh, rating, but... This one, it feels a bit milder in taste than this one, I would say. I think this is my favorite one. I think this one is very similar to this one, but it has a bit of a different flavor, right? Mm. Maybe it's more sheep milk or something in it. For us, tomatoes... Sweet cheese. The best thing. It's very good. All of them are so good, guys. It's gonna be so tough to choose. Next one, this is the one that everybody recommended. I think this one had the most recommendations. Dodoni. Dodoni, the famous one. The famous Dodoni. Give me a famous plate to cut open the Dodoni. It's Dodoni. Dodoni. Come on, knife. Don't, don't embarrass me now. No, oh, this is very soft. Who is it? Mm. It's more creamy. I don't know. I like creamier ones, to be honest. 
This is the softest mm. yet. Oh my god, this is so different than the other ones. Yeah, a lot of flavor. Not mm. that sour. The flavor is there. Yeah. The salt, I think, is the perfect amount for us. This one is really good, Raul. I know. Strange because this one from the fresh cut, it's also Dodoni, but they are so different. We didn't try any of this until now, the first time. Obviously, we had feta cheese in the UK and Romania. But there's nothing, I mean, I've never tried all the feta we have ever tried in other countries does not compare at all to nothing them. compares to with any you. of them <laughs> these are very very good i mean i'm just we lived in a lie around it's, so it's, far look it's such a small difference that you can make between did you even hear my joke what we live in a lie they are all good but they are very different so i think it's a matter of personal taste i think this one is the creamiest yet speaking of creamy somebody recommended us to try a white cheese this time so this one is not a feta cheese it's a white one amari and, and it's a, it's a cretan cretan one. one amari i'm excited to try it i'm i have high expectations for this one yes we used to eat a lot of white cheese which we would call feta but it wasn't feta and it was just a very creamy soft cheese so yeah let's try it mm, this is so salty you can feel it's not a feta cheese it's very crumbly it is softer but it's not spreadable so it's not that soft but it's really, really salty compared to the other ones. Still very good, but... They're all good. <laughs> so it has um, quite a firm texture. I mean, like the feta cheese, like these ones, very similar. For me, it's different. It's not that, yeah, it's not For that me, it's different than feta. You can tie me and I will guess it from all of this. Wanna try that? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm 1% Cretan, I think. I might be. I might be, because I have a Greek name. You have nothing. I have a Greek personality. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. This one is Minerva. Minerva? Come on, Minerva. Show us what you have. Comes in slices. Comes in slices. Do you like the, the plates that Raul made? <laughs> Let's give him a like. Guys, do you like my plates? A moment of appreciation. We don't have enough plates to put all of them and will not look good. So I thought... Oh, this one looks creamy. Yeah, I thought. Cheers. Cheers. Definitely a spread. Mm -mm. Definitely the, the saltiest it's not yet. A spread. It might be spreadable. If you put it on a toast, look, you can spread it a little bit. So this is the creamiest. This is more like what I was expecting for this one to be. The softest yet. Minerva, they're very soft. Not mm. softer than you, darling. What do you even mean? You're very soft. I'm firm. Your heart <laughs> is very soft. It's very salty. This one is very salty, very creamy. What would you use it for? I think this one you can even put it in pasta or make a sauce with it. I would spread it on bread. Like an avocado toast with this. Yes. I would put it on top of dacos. <gasps> what? Blasphemy! This is a great idea! <laughs> Let's put some uh, numbers down here. Yeah. Some ratings. Yeah, but I will try them. You have then. to try them again? Yeah, but just a bit. And rejudge them. Uh, look, I know that this one for me has the most flavor. For me, this one is the best the first one this one is the second best and this one is the third one at and then a, at, this one is very different i wouldn't say this is a feta i can feel a difference i can yeah. feel a huge difference it is it's not a feta it's very good yeah this one fourth five sixth this one is in another league so so a pyros is six for you yes look i know which one is the first and i know which one is the last for me okay which one is the first for you this one is the first for me <laughs> why I love the creaminess. I don't know, and the flavor is there. I like them to be very flavorful. Okay. I like goat cheese a lot. This one for me is first. Okay, ask me, ask me why this is first. Why is this one first for you? Oh, great question. <laughs> <laughs> great question. I think the texture is, for me, is the best. And also the taste, the balance between sourness and saltiness is not the most flavored one, but it's up there. I think this one yeah, is Dodoni. For me, this is second. This is first. Dodoni. So for me, Minerva. <laughs> Minerva is first. Dodoni is second for sure. The last one I know is this one because the flavor is not strong enough for me. I don't know. It feels the, this one is the mildest one, let's say, in flavor. So for my personal taste, this one would be the last one, Megal. This is number three for me. And then I have these three, which these two are very similar, I feel like. Let me see one more time. Mm, this one is very good. This one is Calavriton for me, is the second one. One, two, three, four, five, six, six seven. But it's such a small difference. Don't get us yeah. wrong, it's such a small difference. 
especially for these ones, it's they not are so like similar. Ronaldo and Messi from the rest of the world, no, mm. it's everyone is in the same. These way. ones are more similar, so these these were my least favorite ones, and these were my favorite ones. So definitely, this one is the first one, the Doni. Yeah, if you combine my opinion with yours. <laughs> So we can all agree yeah. that Doni wins, the Doni is the best. So we're gonna try now cheese with yes. melon and then with honey. Yeah. So from what we know, the saltiest one, the saltiest feta will go with something sweet. I will say that one is the saltiest for me. This one? Yeah, you can try for... And this one too, maybe we can try both. In my head, this is blasphemy. I think I will like it. <laughs> I'm not a big fan, but it changes the taste of the cheese completely. It takes all the saltiness, all the strong flavor. It kind of balances, they balance each other. The sweetness from the watermelon, the saltiness from the cheese gets balanced somehow and it works for some reason. I, I can feel the, the feta more because of the watermelon. Very interesting. It's a good combination though, but in my opinion, the best combination is this one right here. There's nothing better than tomatoes and cheese. It's just like chocolate with coconut for me. <laughs> ah. Sorry. Look, look guys, like he's eating with a freaking knife when he has here a fork. What kind of alien are you? Yeah, I would say for me it's really weird. It's not bad. It's not something that I would like. Yeah, it's to not eat daily I don't or it. Yeah, it's not maybe it's not for me. Let's try with the honey. By the way, this is Cretan honey. From what you can see, we're trying here. Which one of these do you prefer? Drop a comment. And let us know what should we try next. Okay, I'm gonna put man, this is so weird. Okay, here we go. This one is, is better than the arbuzi. Mm, much better. Much better. I, I think you can make like a... Like a dessert. Yeah, like a dessert. Feels like a dessert. In my mouth, it's like a cream cheese. With honey, is very good. And you have the aftertaste of feta. Oh, baby, tell me more. This one, great combination. I love these testing videos. <laughs> these are my favorites. You need something very... Please support them. Please drop a comment with whatever yeah, guys, idea you have with If you want to see things. more like this, please put more comments and likes, as you did on the last video. If you did not see the last video, go and check it out. Thank you for watching. See you in the next time. We're busy here. Bye. Bye.